Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Logic Medico. Today's topic is MCQs in ENT. Topic subdivision is ER part 1. So let's see the MCQs one by one. Tensor tympani is attached to the tympanic membrane, malleus, incus, stapes. Time starts now. 10 seconds it will be given. If you are told malleus, then your answer is correct. Next, identify the yellow colored structure in the diagram. 5th grain and now, 7th grain and now, 8th grain and now, 9th grain and now. This 7th grain and now. This is quarter tympani branch of 7th kernel no? passing through the tympanic membrane. Next, identify the blue colored area in this picture. Options parse tensa, handle of malleus, cone of light, parse flaccida. Your time starts now. Time up cone of light is the answer. So this is the cone of light, this is the handle of malleus, and this is the pars tensor and the rest of the tympanic membrane is called pars flaccida. Next, tympanic membrane is supplied by all except facial nerve, auriculotemporal nerve, glossopharyngeal nerve, vagus nerve are the options. Time starts now. answer is facial nerve. So facial nerve doesn't supply the tympanic membrane. Okay, These three nerves will supply the tympanic membrane. Identify the pointed area in the picture. So, so you can see the pointed area. Options malleus, stapedius, tensor tympani, stapes. Time starts now. Answer is tensor tympan. So this is tensor tympani attached to the neck of the malleus at the junction with the handle. When it pulls, it pulls the tympani membrane inwards. So this is the malleus. This is the incus. This is stapes. Muscle attached to stapes will be stapedius. Okay. So the answer here is tensor tympani. Next, a referred otalgia via the fifth cranial nerve is true for all except. So options are dental abscess, tumor of the tongue. Temporomandibular joint dislocation, tonsillitis. Time starts now. Your time is up. Tonsillitis is the answer because tonsils are supplied by which ninth cranial now because this is present in the oropharynx. Dental, either the upper jaw or lower jaw. Supplied by maxillary and mandibular adhesion of trigeminal nerve. This is trigeminal nerve. Tumor of the tongue. Tongue is also supplied by trigeminal nerve. Temporomandibular joint. Auriculotemporal nerve supplies that. That is also a branch of trigeminal nerve. So tonsils. This area is supplied by glossopharyngeal nerve. So tonsillitis is the answer. Next. Identify the perforation in tympanic membrane. The black color area is perforation. It is in which quadrant? Anterior inferior? Anterior superior? Posterior superior, posterior inferior are the options. Your time starts now. The time is up. Answer is posterior superior. So if you divide the tympanic membrane into four quadrants, this will be the anterior superior, anterior inferior, posterior superior, posterior inferior. So this kind of perforation is called posterior superior. It's a dangerous type of CSOM. Chronic superiority voltages media, this kind of perforation is there. So, therefore, it becomes important for you to identify the perforation and refer to the ENT surgeon at the earliest. Next, earliest age of doing BERA brain stem evoked response audiometry is options are intrauterine life at birth, 3 months of age, 6 months of age. Time starts now.
your time is up but birth is the answer so brain stem evoked response audiometry doesn't require the child to uh, coordinate with you so at birth only you can elicit the information if you want to do Rinas test, Weber's test, not only want the person to interact and coordinate. That kind of thing is not there with Bera. That's the advantage of Bera. So the earlier stage is at birth. So doing this Bera at birth will prevent deaf mutism. If at all the child is he has got hearing loss, it can be avoided to go to mutism. So therefore, Bera can be done at birth. Next, malignant OTD is externalized seen in options. Smokers and tobacco chewers. Hypertensives, diabetics, neglected tumors. The time starts now. Now, 10 second time is up. Answer is diabetics. Though it's called malignant otitis externa, there is nothing related to malignancy or smoker or tobacco or hypertensive. This is an infective condition of the outer ear, the pinna and the external auditory canal, usually immunocompromised or diabetic individuals, it is common, that infection of the external ear. Since the infection is more severe variety, it appears like a malignant, as though a malignancy is there, therefore it is called malignant otitis externa, but it is no way related to malignancy or smoking or tobacco. Okay, come to the last MCQ, referred pain to the ear in spondylosis is due to Facial nerve options, crossophalangeal nerve, C2 and C3 now, trigeminal nerve. Now time starts now. Now time is up. It is C2 and C3 now. That is a cervical now. Second and third cervical now. Spondylosis is inflammation of the cervical spines. So in that condition, the nerve C2 and C3 now will be compressed and the same now supplies the ear by greater auricular now. It's a root value of greater auricular now. So therefore, the person will have referred pain to the ear whereas the problem will be there in the neck. So it is cervical spondylosis. Cervical means neck. So spondylosis is inflammation of that area in the neck area. But the patient complains of pain in the pinna or the auricle. So that is the interesting part about it. That's why it's called a referred pain to the ear. So it is C2 and C3 now. Okay. Like and share this video with your family and friends. Subscribe and press the bell button. Thank you once again.